Yo, welcome back to another GeoGuessr video. Today we're going to be doing the classic tips and tricks metas. I'm just going to be going into country streaks, wandering around, trying to find stuff to tell you about to help you improve your GeoGuessr game. And hopefully you can use some of this information. I'm sure it's going to come in handy. And uh, let me know in the comments if any of this has helped. Take it easy. Catch you later. All right, guys, so we're going to do country streaks and I'm just going to try and find stuff to tell you about the classic, the way that I used to do it. If the first round is, if I don't find anything to talk about, I'm just going to edit it out. So you might see the streak going a bit crazy, but that's because I'm editing it out and I'm trying to find stuff to tell you about. All right, let's try and see, try and find something to talk about here. Okay, well, this is a little Swedish tip here. Um, these are the Swedish colors, which you will see on poles around Sweden, the yellow and the um, blue. Also, this is uh, uh, very common in Sweden, having this umlaut on the A. Um, I believe it's an umlaut, could be wrong, but anyway, we had the pole, you can see the colors. This is Gen 2, about 85% of Finland, or maybe more, is Gen 2. Um, but anyway, camera gen meta is cheeky, so we we'll, we won't talk too much about that. I've already talked about this um, yellow border around the finish uh, signs. Five dashes, a good way to separate the Scandinavian countries is by the dashes on the um, dashes on the pedestrian sign. Sweden and Norway will have four dashes. We have five here. Also, T is um, a street in Finnish, so you'll see T a lot in Finland. Um, safe to send. Uh, here we have a Brazilian round, I believe, because we have this little tail on the sea, which you get in a bunch of different countries, but Portuguese has it. Also, AO, Ao, is very Portuguese looking. And um, this is not going to be Portugal. We have white bottom poles, which you get a lot in um, Brazil. And Minas Gerais is the avenue so i don't know if we are actually in minas Gerais, which is the this state but i'd say we actually are because it looks kind of similar to it i honestly think we're near Belo horizonte or something i'd say yeah we're in minas uh yeah we're just up there um right now we're on a we're on a gravel road Eastern European. Okay, wow, this is actually a pretty interesting uh, meta. I don't usually talk about car meta and things like that. I will bring it up if it's something interesting. This is pretty interesting. This little smiley face sticker that's on the mirror here. Now, some countries you will be able to see the side mirror, but if you're able to see a little sticker like this, the little smiley face sticker, then you're gonna be in uh, Croatia in this sort of area here so Slavonski broad and this kind of area um, of Croatia um, right there as well all right this is gonna be Sweden this is a Swedish looking sign yellow with the red arrow very Swedish we also have the Swedish dashes this yellow sign here without the little finish border. Um, very sweet and looking. Um, okay, so this big black circle in the middle of the plate is the Argentina plates. They're the old Argentina plates, new coverage. There's probably gonna be less of these plates. The new Argentina plates don't have this. They're just kind of elongated. Um, I think they're slightly blue if I'm not mistaken, but we'll still see those old plates around for quite a while. This is a Danish bollard. It has this very distinctive yellow and red bit on it, and it's white. Looks like this. Um, very unique. Right, this is going to be Latvia based off those poles. Um, this sign should be thick, should have a thick border, is very uh, Latvian looking. Um, it's a bit different to the Lithuania and Estonia signs, 
but these poles here the a frame with these alternating inductors like this is uh just very very latvian very latvian looking Um, so when you're in Spain, you'll usually find the city names on these bins. So make sure you check out the city names. Like over here, we can tell that we're in Barcelona. These are Swiss bollards. They, uh, they have a curve at the top. They look similar to a lot of the European bollards, but they have this curve at the top. They almost look like, um, bowling pins or something and of course we do have the low cam and switzerland have the second most amount of pedestrian sign dashes they have seven um so yeah so if you get eight then you're going to be in spain or andorra if you get seven then you're going to be in switzerland and then no country has six it's just five or four or three after that so if you have a lot of dashes make sure you count them you can tell if you're in switzerland but yeah all right so this should just be brazil because of this red dirt and the yellow lines um big kg satellite dishes like this is very brazilian Um, so this bollard is going to be Netherlands. Looks very similar to the Turkish and Australian bollard. Um, just white with a little red strip. And you can usually tell if it's Australia or Netherlands or Turkey. Um, this isn't going to be Australia. This isn't going to be Turkey. It's very flat. Looks like Netherlands has to be. Something bad is about to happen here. And I don't know why this is why this is happening. Okay. Well, where are we? Are we in Tunisia? Yeah, we have this Tunisian follow vehicle. We have the plates, the black plates here. Um I think this might be the Tunis follow vehicle or might be like Sfax or something um okay it was Sfax okay there we have some Polish bollards these are Polish bollards the ones with the red like this and if it's very hilly like this in Poland then you're gonna be in south of Poland so we're gonna be in the southern area yeah way down there this is a Mexican, Mexican bollard. It's just a little white one with a black bottom like this. Um, you can get them in different kind of forms, but that is what it looks like. Um, yeah, we're going to be, I'd say, looking like this, we might be near Monterey, Monterey sort of area, possibly, or just Nayarit. <laughs> This is going to be uh, Madagascar. Um, I guess just because it's tracker coverage and it looks like an African place that's, I don't know, kind of islandy. And Madagascar is the place to go when you have tracker coverage and it's um, African. I think this is actually like a banja. I think we're like on this bridge here. It actually fits perfectly. I'm pretty sure we're just here on the RN6 south of Abanja. Yeah, that bridge was the one. Yep. Um, so this architecture here looks very Bhutanese. Um, it's got this sort of wood middle, like top and then layered sort of thing going on it's very layered 
the wood frames, you know, like it's very, very Bhutanese looking. Um, another thing about Bhutan is they have a lot of white flags around everywhere. So you'll see this on the side of the road. These are like flags you'll see a lot on the side of the roads. Um, there's some there, there's some there. Bhutan has red plates. So if we check out this car here, we'll see, oh, see the red, um, red plates on them. And yeah, very Bhutanese. This architecture is very, um, recognizable once you start noticing it, but also the white flags and stuff like that. Very, very easy to recognize. Gonna be Mal Malaysia if we have double white lines like this and we're driving on the left we have these black and white poles that i've talked about and um yeah we should just be in malaysia um so this yellow triangle which is going downwards and it has a very thin red line around it is polish you see one of these yellow triangles with a very thin border, you're going to be in Poland for sure. 100%. So here you can clearly see that there is a bit of blue and a bit of yellow on this plate. Um, that means it's a Ukraine plate. Um, yeah, they have the blue and yellow. It's really hard to see when the plates are blur blurred. Um, such as these ones it's very hard to see like that one you can kind of see it slightly but yeah once you start noticing it it does get a bit easier um like for me i can clearly see that i don't know about you but i can see blue and yellow there and um yeah that would mean that you're in ukraine we have ua there as well also ukraine cyrillic has the eye um an eye with one dot or so here or with two dots um you won't find any other cyrillic with uh eyes only in ukraine um so these rumble strips here that you'll uh see very close together you'll get in denmark Another thing that gives away Denmark here is this flat guardrail, which you can get in uh, Poland, you can get it in Serbia, you can get it in Croatia, and possibly one or two more places. But out of those places, this looks more northern, and the rumble strips combined with the guardrail, those other countries don't have this kind of rumble strip, so. Just with those things combined, it has to be Denmark. Okay, so that uh, lamp shade over here, this long one sticking out like this, is very uh, Thai looking. Um, this red dirt is a bit sus. I was thinking this could be Cambodia, but this is a Thai pole as well. I'd say we're just close to Cambodia on the side here. Um, yeah, way over here, near Laos, actually. Um, this is going to be Norway, because uh, these yellow lines, but um, this sort of white sign is very European, so we're not in NA. So it's going to be Norway. This is going to be extremely north. I've talked about the tree sizes a lot, and when it looks like this in Norway, um, I wouldn't be surprised if we were near Russia or something, or way up here, to be honest. Um, yeah, we were up there, very far north. And this one's going to be um, Philippines. We've got this road, which you get in uh, Thailand as well, but we're driving on the right. We've got a bit of green on the plate. We've got a tuk-tuk thing. And the language uh, has like some English. You get some English around Philippines. Um, yeah, should be good.
Um, so in Vietnam, you're gonna get um, the bike coverage. So you can see the, the biker's helmet. Um, pretty much all of Vietnam has this coverage. Good thing about Vietnam is it'll you'll always see like the address on these buildings here. And we can tie that tell that we're in Thai Nguyen. Um, which uh, where is that? Is it up here? It's up here. So like it's very easy to um, pinpoint where you are in Vietnam. It's very handy. We're up in Thai Nguyen. Yep. We have a yellow building here. This immediately makes me think Ireland. Also, we have the grass down the middle of this road I've talked about and the rock walls. I mean, those are three big Irish uh, metas, to be honest. A yellow building, grass down the road and a rock wall. I'll be very surprised if this isn't Ireland. <laughs> yeah, it was. Jojo Furniture. Benin, maybe? Okay. I think um, B City would be maybe Benin. You can tell it's Nigeria. We have a follow car here, the plate. Bit of English around, looks African. Um, yeah, we could be in Benin. And we were, we were indeed. Um, okay, so in this location, we have, we have an Italian plate. So you might be quick. You might be quick to go Italy. Wait, let's go to the starting location. You might be quick to go Italy here because of this. You gotta be careful um when you're in san marino even if that wasn't there i probably wouldn't send at least straight away because down in the distance you can see a blue crosswalk which is very common in san marino i think i've seen it once or twice in italy but not that much but in san marino all of the crosswalks are going to be blue i'm pretty sure um and right here we've got a San Marino plate. The San Marino plate is just a little white one like this. Um, and San Marino is super hilly. It's all Gen 2. And it looks like this, you know, got the blue crosswalk. Um, you will have a lot of Italian plates for obvious reasons. But you just got to be careful with that one. Uh, San Marino can ruin a streak very easily. Okay, you got a Thai pole here. It's gonna be Thailand, but it's um, it's an odd Thailand, isn't it? Are we on an island? We could be on uh, like Phuket, maybe. Um, oh wow, we were okay. We were. Looked weird. Um, this is an Indo plate. We got. The three, three sections. Um, this one as well. So we're just going to be in Indonesia here. Sulawesi. Thanks for checking out the video. I hope it was somewhat helpful. And um, I'll be back soon with some more GeoGosa content. Make sure you take care of yourself. See you very soon. All right. See you later. Bye. Take it easy.